Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we have... That was a weird Yamajack. <laughs> Welcome back, this is Yamajack. <laughs> yeah, Doom 203, Map 01, something or other. Uh, Gunslinger Suicidal, it's great, it's great, dude, don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, so I just played the uh, the Monster Hunter World. It's a, look at that voice fry. I just played Monster Hunter World for the Yamajack tries. We didn't get to, to really do too much in it, which was kind of disappointing. It took like 40 minutes, and we did one quest. Um, obviously, you know, the start of the game is a lot slower, and now that we're, we're done with all that, we're going to have a little bit more stuff, and then once we're done with the story, then we'll have even more, but, you know, it's all, it's all good. It's all good. Um, yeah. Uh... I'm excited. We're going to be streaming that uh, today. It's going to be done already by the time you guys are watching this, because this goes up at 8, and I stream at 2. So it's it's kind of, uh, you know, in the way. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of done already, but uh, I'm assuming it's going to be good. I'm really looking forward to it. Monster Hunter World is a fantastic game. Um, I've seen people play it before, and I've been, uh, I've been playing the Monster Hunter series since uh, Monster Hunter 3rd Ultimate, which came out in the West. And I put a few hundred hours into that one, and I got uh, Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate on the Switch, and I've been playing that. I didn't play 4. I didn't play 4. I think Generations Ultimate is kind of a mix of all of them, though, so I think it's fine. Um, but I basically, I played 3U and, uh, you know, GU. Um, which is, uh, it's fine. It's, it's okay. Um, but I like it. It's a lot, it's a lot of fun. I, uh... Yeah, I never needed to upgrade to, to four or whatever because I, I was having fun with uh, with three still. You know, I didn't I didn't need the the new content. I was uh, I was having a blast with uh, with three ultimate, which was a very good game. Then um, I got switch. I got the one on the switch, but I can't stream the one on the switch. I haven't actually beaten it yet. Um, but uh, like I haven't beaten the actual story yet. I've mostly just been uh, farming the Nargakuga with the long sword that has the. Uh, Valor style, I believe, because you get to like do those sweet parries and, and uh, dodges and all that. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be coming out soon. We're gonna be doing a lot of uh, Monster Hunter World content. I'm super excited about it because I've been wanting to play it for a long, long time, and I now have an excuse to play it, so it's fun. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's exciting. It's exciting for me. Super exciting. Hope you guys are enjoying the streams as well. I know that uh, not many people are really stopping by and checking them out. Um, but I hope that... Uh, I know that a couple of people are watching the VODs as they go up. I have to get better about uploading them. And I don't even know what time I'm supposed to be putting them up at. I haven't really decided yet. And I haven't made a proper decision on it yet. And I'm just like, I don't know, man. Like, what am I What am I doing with my life, you know? Um, so I got, I, got a, I got a few decisions to make about it. But I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. That's the, uh, that's the important thing for me. If I wasn't enjoying it, I wouldn't be doing it. Because uh, that's that's the whole point of me doing it, because it's fun. But uh, we're going to be doing some Monster Hunter World. I'm not going to be able to progress very fast, because... Uh, like, I've, like, I, 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 like I said, I've never really been able to have the time to play it. So now that I'm going to be streaming it, and uh, you know all that, then I'll be able to... To justify spending the time on it. I'm not really going to be spending time off camera, so it'll just be the three hours a week on stream, which is not much, <laughs> to say the least. Like, it's going to be quite a, uh, a while, like, in, in real time, like, uh, months, until uh, we've made it somewhere uh, that's actually, like, decent in the game, until we're, like, at the end game of uh, Monster Hunter World, which I'm fine with. Um... And who knows? Maybe, maybe as we as time goes on, I'll be wanting to play it more. Like I, uh, I felt the same about Gunfire Reborn, and I, I play that off camera fairly frequently. Although I'm not recording it yet either, so it's kind of, you know, I guess a little bit different. But I uh, once I start recording that, maybe I won't want to. I don't know. It's uh, it's all up in the air. It's all up in the air. We'll have to we'll have to make decisions and figure things out and see how it goes. Can I put this down, please? Like I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Where's the, where's the like trigger for it? 
I want it down, dude. I want it down. Because of these dudes. These stupid dudes. She's all shook up. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's coming up soon. So how's my weekend? How was the weekend? That was a good weekend. It was my, uh, my parents' anniversary. So, uh, you know, we had to celebrate that. Um, my birthday's coming up soon. I got a uh, birthday card from my grandmother. I believe I talked about that, though. They were talking about me being on a train. Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was good. I've, uh, I talked about the, the weight and how uh, me not having the time to, like, binge eat and, you know, just glutton all over the place has kind of uh, affected my diet. Uh, with the weekend, it was a lot more... I don't want to say difficult to... Uh, to watch my uh, my my intake, my caloric uh, intake, um, because I don't think it really was, but it was definitely uh, I definitely felt the urge to uh, to continue just eating whenever I had time because uh, that's what I'm used to. Um, I didn't, you know, get out of here, you stinking things. Um, I didn't, you know, so no big deal. But uh, yeah, it's definitely the uh, the amount of time that I'm spending on uh, on. On streaming and content producing is, is definitely uh, having a noticeable impact. You know, to the point where uh, having that time off was was kind of putting me back into to my old habits. Um, but other than that, you know, it was a it was a pretty good weekend. It was nice to have the time off. I did have to work on the weekend a little bit. I had to make uh, a few KF2 videos and uh, a couple of um, Yamajack tries. I recorded those the morning of Saturday. Then I was done with it, and I got to just relax for the rest of the weekend. I did a lot of RuneScape. I did a lot of reading. Um, I did some some cooking. I made some some food. Didn't really get to do too much because my parents were, you know, celebrating their anniversary and all that. So uh, we're not gonna have the upgraded Glock, really. Uh, they were celebrating their anniversary and all that, so it was you know dinners were made for the most part. But uh, yeah, it was a it was a good weekend. It was nice. It was nice to have that time off. Uh, I didn't really miss the streaming, honestly. Uh, I, like I love it. I love the streaming. I love the YouTube recording. I love doing what I'm doing. But uh, I didn't. I didn't miss it. I didn't miss it. it. Is it is stressful? It is time consuming. It is you know a number of things that are all not so great. Um, on top of being you know one of the, the greatest things that uh, that I've ever made the decision to do. You know there are there are downsides to it that uh, that you know, you sh I can't ignore for sure. So it was nice to have that. Uh, a designated time off to, to kind of relax and just uh, enjoy myself and do whatever I want. But at the same time, it's nice to be back into uh, the swing of things here and being recording again. It's it's uh, it's kind of uh, it goes it works both ways, you know. It's 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 nice to to have that break and it's nice to get back to work, right? So that's kind of where I'm at with this. We'll be doing three, I guess, of this because these are like eight minute runs, which is crazy. Um. Yeah, it's nice to be back to, uh, to recording and streaming. I just, yeah, like I said, I recorded the uh, the Monster Hunter World, and that was that was good fun. I had to install the M.2 drive in it uh, in my in my computer to be able to uh, like install Monster Hunter World because it's like 50 gigs or something stupid like that. Um, and then that's not even including like the DLC and any other kind of like data that has to be downloaded as we're playing. And like it's just I, I made sure to download it on a new drive because I don't even have 50 gigs on my uh, my current drive. I have like. 40 total or something like that. I have to clean it up. I'm going to be moving stuff around and reorganizing stuff onto that drive uh, and then probably reinstalling an OS and drivers and all that kind of stuff because I didn't do that when I got my new computer. I just stuck the drive in and then downloaded new drivers, uninstalled oh, the old ones, and that's not really the best way to do things. So, um, But I finally, I've had the, the M.2 drive sitting there for like ages. It's only SATA, so I put it into the... Uh, the, uh, the SATA M.2 drive on my computer because you've got uh, on your motherboard you'll have uh, like an Ultra M.2 which is just like PCIe uh, and then farther away from your CPU you will have a uh, another M.2 slot which is SATA speed right typically anyway that's how my board works and uh, I've got the ASRock B450 Pro 4 something like that I don't know um, and uh, so that's how it works for mine I uh, the like MBME M.2 is much more annoying to get to because I have to like take the graphics card out and then you don't have to, but like it just it makes it a lot easier to do it that way. So that's what I do, right? Like I could do it without it, but it's not easier. So take the graphics card out, right? Um, 
Yeah. So I have to take the graphics card out, install the thing, and then put the graphics card back in. Uh, whereas with the SATA one, I can just stick it in, and then. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I don't have to. I don't have to move anything around. I just plop it back in, then uh, close it up. So I did that the first time, um, but it turns out that that's M.2 slot is sharing the same bandwidth as the SATA three and four connectors. Uh, and I have my hard drive, my disk drive, my physical disk installed on uh, the third SATA connector thing. So when I uh, when I installed the M.2 drive, the M.2 drive is coming up, but my hard drive wasn't anymore. And I'm like, oh my god, what the heck's happening? What did I do? Uh, so I go into the BIOS, and it's like, yes, yeah, so you can't do this. I'm like, oh, okay, gotcha, I understand. So then I had to pull it all apart anyway. Take the M.2 drive back out, and then put like take the graphics card out, install the thing, put it back all in, and I'm like, this was just more work because I decided to take the easy route out. <laughs> but uh, it's a it's sad of speeds on the M.2 drive, but M.2 drives are easier to install. Even even with all of this work, I think that it was easier to install because you don't have to deal with cords. Um, it was uh, it's not uh, it's not a big deal to have to install an M.2 drive, so I got an M.2 drive. They're also like smaller. And uh, just they're 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 much I don't know better for me. Um, I would I would always take an M.2 drive over a SATA like proper uh, like two and a half inch drive. Um, just because it's uh it's easier. It's less hassle. You know you don't have cords. It's it's you just stick the drive in and you're done. That's it. It's nothing nothing more to it. Um, but anyway, it was installed. It was a whole ordeal. I had to. I had to do that, and um, then I got to install it, and uh, then I got to play Monster Hunter World, and I'm really excited. I'm really super duper excited. Super duper excited. Bruh. I am, uh, I am very excited. Excited for tomorrow as well. We'll be doing some more PVM on, uh, on RuneScape. Like, I don't know. Like I said, it was nice to have the, uh, the weekend off to, to relax and enjoy myself and do what I want to do, and... Now that I'm back to work, I don't know, it just, it just it feels good to not be taking a break. And that's I think that's why uh, taking breaks and, and giving yourself that time off is so important because it, it makes you so much more motivated when you come back. Um, you know, when you're not you're not working on it seven days a week and then like just dreading it every single day. So I woke up this morning and I was not in a good mood. <laughs> I, uh, I was like, I can just not record a Yamachek tries today, right? Like, I can just not do that. I can go back to bed, right? Like, it's fine. Wake up at uh, the stream, you know, maybe we'll rebrand the Monster Hunter World uh, to, you know, Monday Minecraft or something. No, I, I, I got myself up, and I, uh, and I, uh, I made sure to actually, um, get everything done properly, and now that I've done it, and I'm, I'm doing it currently, it's, uh, yeah, just it feels good. There's there's a there's this gratification that comes with it, doing a good job and being happy with what I've done. It's uh it's important, right? It's important. So but that's why I want to make sure that I take the day off just because I get to I get to enjoy that time off and then I get to enjoy my time back to work. And once I'm making money on it, then it'll be even nicer, but who knows if that's ever really gonna happen anyway. Uh I don't know, I think about it all the time, you know, because it's like so much fun. I, I talk about it all the time, but it's I think about it all the time. It's 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 on my mind constantly, just because uh, it's it like me being able to succeed at this makes like a, it'll be like the biggest impact that my life has ever had, ever, you know. Like, it'll be the biggest change to my life ever if I'm able to make this work, right? Um, so making it work is a big deal, and I talk about it a lot, and I think about it a lot. Um. Because it'll be, uh, yeah, it'll be the biggest change in my life, like, ever. To have, like, a, a proper job that I'm doing that makes money, that's consistent, that's, well, as consistent as YouTube can be anyway. Um, but it'll be, it'll be, it'll be, like, a huge change if, if it works, and if it doesn't, then that'll also be a huge change, because I'm, I'm committing to it so hard that, uh, if it doesn't work, there'll be, like, a crash and a disappointment, and, uh, I feel like I've let myself down. I'll have to, I'll have to like contend with that and those emotions. And yeah, it's just uh, yeah. I don't know. 
It'd be nice if it's if it happens. If it doesn't happen, I'll have to go get a job at McDonald's or something. Like what a, what a stark difference, you know? Going from being like completely independent, well not completely, you know, pretty dependent on uh, on YouTube and Twitch and you know Patreon and PayPal and like all like Streamlabs and whatever else you use, right? But uh, not working for the man, you know, going from uh, this kind of like independent style of uh, you know owning a business and then managing a business of uh, yourself, and, you know, paying for contractors and. And, and all this kind of stuff, right? And then going to being like, yeah, I flip burgers at McDonald's. <laughs> I don't think that either of them are, are better jobs than the other, you know? We, whichever you prefer is what you prefer, but uh, they are definitely very, very different. <laughs> so, it doesn't scare me. It just, uh, it would be nice to make it work is, is, is basically what I'm saying. Anyway, we're doing some KF2. And we got the King Flash Pound. We got uh, we got new updates coming out soon. I'm really excited about it. I'm really really excited about it. Super duper excited about it. Can't wait until uh, we get uh, the new stuff. So we got uh, we got the chain gun, the mini gun thing, and then the uh, uh, the the mines thing from the uh, medic. Both of which seem pretty cool. I've not seen them. I believe I've talked about this before. I've gotten some deja vu. I've uh, been avoiding the spoilers thus far. I've not seen them. I just know that they're good. In the in the current unnerved beta form, they are uh, quite potent as uh, as weapons, which is uh, is fine. I'm into it. Oh, this is uh, not so great, but it worked out anyway. It worked out anyway. It's okay. Have we gotten two gunslinger levels in this episode? I, I think we started at 21, right? And we just leveled up to 23. It's pretty crazy. I'm feeling generous. It's pretty crazy, dude. It's pretty crazy. No, I think we got one of these. Maybe. I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll do another run. We'll do another run. I'm still thinking about RuneScape content to upload as well. I am going to be doing something. I don't know what, but something. Something. Something of some sort. Ah. Uh, so there will be... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, There's like so many different things that I could do. I could do boss guides. Um, I could do like boss commentaries to, to help people understand like what I'm thinking about when I go through bossing. and. I could do quest guides, I could do Iron Man like tutorials and tips and tricks and stuff, I could do uh, like progress series, I could do like drop logs, you know, completionist stuff. Road to max, I mean you don't really have to do that because I'm like pretty close, but you know, it's just uh, there's a variety of content that I could do and I want to do something and I, uh, I, I want to do something, you know, I want to want to make something happen there and it's uh yeah i don't i don't know i don't know what would be best for my channel i don't know what kind of content i'd be the best at making um i don't know what kind of content i'd have the most fun making i mean i know what kind of content i have the most fun making it would be just boss commentaries and i might oops i guess we're doing rhinos okay it'd be boss commentaries i guess i could just go ahead and do that just do some boss runs and kind of talk about what I'm doing as I go. Um, because I feel like, yeah, I don't know. I might, I might give it a try. I might give it a try. Because I've got the, uh, I've got the, um, that's cobblestone generator video from from Minecraft from forever ago, and a lot of people have commented on that saying that they really like it because there isn't a whole lot of talking and. You're not overloading me with information. It's just, it's very easy to understand what you're doing. It's very easy to follow. And uh, you just you just watch it and you're done, right? You get it. You're done. That's it. You understand. You, you understand it implicitly now, right? And uh, people are, are, have praised me for that video many, 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 many times. And uh, I think that that's the kind of content that people want, right? And I think that the kind of content that a lot of people want to make is the stuff that goes into super detailed like mechanics behind it um you know so when you're watching like boss logs and stuff or boss videos and guides and whatnot on on stuff they go into all the the, the backstory and the details and the like well this one you have to use this one at this tick because it does this and this 
and uh, you have to make sure that you do this one at this part because it does this and this and this affects the boss in this way and yada 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 right and people just don't care um, for the most part like some people do but those people already know it you know what I mean like um, anyway I, uh, I I feel like just building putting together guides that aren't necessarily going into details about all the different like the the, the crudest details but all of the mechanics and just putting together videos that uh, overview the mechanics you need to understand to win uh, would 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 do very very well because they'd be very short right they'd be very very short um, like a lesions guide would be you know five minutes or something for for all of them kind of thing right well maybe like ten um, and then, uh, like a Telos guide would be, you know, 10 minutes, right? And I feel like that kind of stuff is what people want to watch, but not what people want to make because they want to be, you know, making the best kind of content, but that's not necessarily what people need to feel comfortable going into it. You know, the more complicated a guide is, the more complicated the boss looks, right? And if you can explain it in a way that's easy to understand, um, then people might be able to, to follow along a little bit easier and they might be more inclined to try it out. Right? But if the video, if, if you look at like a Telos guide and it's like an hour long, it's gonna, it's gonna scare you, right? It's gonna, it's gonna put you off of it. To a certain extent, anyway. I mean, it did me. Definitely did for me. I had to, I had to kind of like learn the basics and then watch the more advanced tutorials that explained the, uh, the mechanics in more depth and, um, how to do it properly and all that, but uh, if I just hopped right into the, the more complicated stuff immediately, then I'd get scared off, you know? And, uh, so I don't know. I, I, I feel like making guides that are easy to follow without all of this, this extra kind of stuff would be good. Um, that'd be my kind of style, right? Like the, the quick and easy, quick and dirty kind of, uh, content, you know? Maybe, maybe that's the kind of stuff I do. I might try it out. I was thinking about making a lesions guide, so I might uh, I might do that. Um, we're gonna be having RuneScape progress logs coming up to a certain extent, like once a week. I'll record once, and then put it up, and then maybe towards the future I will. I've been talking about it before, but maybe towards the future we'll have uh, some stuff. I want to do that. I have recorded it. Um, I just haven't recorded something that I'm happy with yet. It's too rambly, not informational enough. You know what I mean? And it's, it's coming from uh, my KF2 series here, you know, but the the RuneScape series, I want it to be more succinct, succinct, you know, I want it to be more, like, this is, uh, this is where you get, these are powerful. For suicidal, anyway, they're, they're perfectly, uh, acceptable. Um, I want it to be more succinct, I want it to be more, uh, you know, quick to follow, so you just watch a quick little five minute video, and then, uh, there's your, there's your information, what I did for the week, you know what I mean? And uh, currently, that is not what I have uh, in the uh, in the uh, in the video that I recorded. So I'll have to I'll have to work on it, but it's okay. You're a real Today I'm not working on the voice. My parents are home. It's Labor Day right now, uh, so I'm not working on the voice. You know, that's okay. We're gonna take the, the deagles just because. Like, I guess we can't upgrade them all the way, but that's okay. Um, it's Labor Day, so my mother is home anyway, and I don't like practicing my voice while people are home because it just, uh, I don't know, it makes me uncomfortable to a certain extent, which I have to also work on because I'd be able to use it elsewhere. It's funny, I have like, uh, I have like three voices that I use on the regular. I have, uh, I have this one, which is like my commentary voice, and then I have like this one, which is kind of more my, um, like when I'm talking to friends or whatever, this is typically the voice that I'll go into. It's a little bit more feminine, but it's not super feminine yet. It's just uh, something I'm a little bit more comfortable using. Um, that's not super bad, but not super great either. So it's like a little bit better, but not super better. Um, right? So I have like that one, which I also use. And then I have uh, the uh, the feminine voice that I use, like my proper end game feminine voice that I'm uh, that I'm currently working on, which is a little bit more like this. And I have to work on it a little bit more to get it somewhere that I'm happy with, but. You know, it's kind of getting there. But I have, like, those three voices that I use on the on the regular. And, uh, I don't know, kind of... 
it messes with me to a certain extent because uh, I don't know. I uh, I like listen to them and I'm like, oh right, I sound like that sometimes, or I sound like that sometimes, or whatever, right? I don't know. I wish I I don't know. I think I'm gonna try and move into more of this voice for for permanently kind of thing. It's not something that I'm super happy with, but it is better than nothing. It, it's better than like my normal voice anyway, so I don't know. I might move it. I might move to that, but we'll have to uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how it goes. Anyway. Any hoozle. That's all we got for today. We're gonna be leaving it there. I love the rhino, man. The rhino's so good. We'll be using the rhino more because I like the rhino. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.